The next speaker would be, again from the Navy, Lieutenant Commander Pankaj Mishra, the Deputy Controlerate of Procurement and Material Organization from Vaisagapatnam. The floor is yours, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Commodore Bala Sundaram, uh, organizers, uh, esteemed guests, uh, speakers uh, from the three services, MSMEs uh, and PSUs, uh, very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, I am Lieutenant Commander Pankaj. I come from uh, MO Vizag, uh, that is a material organization, Vizag, uh, which is the naval store depot, one of the five uh, naval store depot of the Indian Navy. Uh, the other deports are uh, MO Port Blair, MO Karwar, MO Mumbai, and MO Kochi. Uh, so to talk about MO Vizag or material organizations of the Navy, uh, our primary aim and objective is to plan, procure, uh, stock the items, and to supply the items to the end users based on their requirements. Uh, a typical uh, corporate word which could be coined for what we do or how we function uh, would be supply chain logistics or supply chain management. That is what we do. Uh, I am here to give a brief presentation on uh, how we function and more importantly to associate uh, with all of you present over here in this August gathering. Uh, before I start my presentation, I would just like to know with a hand raise that how many of you are already associated with Navy or uh, with Army or with Air Force or, or, or are already dealing with this in terms of procurement, uh, just with a hand raise so that I'll come to know the, my targeted audience. Okay, I can see a single hand. Okay. Uh, this will be the scope of my presentation. And its uh, primary aim would be to invite all of you uh, to partner with us, uh, to work with us, to associate it with associate with us, uh, in order to make the uh, dream of uh, the current government that is uh, self-reliance or the Atma Nirbhar Bharat a uh, reality. Uh, this will be my, my scope of presentation. Uh, this you can say is a typical uh, procurement cycle. Uh, there are the prospective vendors, uh, which I believe uh, are you. Uh, we are the customer, the Naval Store Depot, who does the procurement on behalf of Navy, and the end users, who are the ships, submarines, aircraft carriers, aircrafts, and other uh, shore establishments. Uh, they raise their demand on us. Uh, they are busy. They are so busy. All the <laughs> Uh, ashore units, all the aircraft carriers, ships, submarines, uh, they are so very busy with their day-to-day uh, -day task, mission, deployments, that they don't, uh, that, that, that would not be, they don't find time to do the procurement, so the procurement part is rested on us, on our organization. Uh, in every sector, the intent of the government is very much important and uh, intent of this government has been very forward looking and uh, has been uh, favoring the in-house production. Uh, some of the recent de developments which you all might be aware is uh, the commissioning of uh, India's first IAC, that is uh, Indigenous Aircraft Carrier, INS Vikrant. Uh, two, three days back uh, in MDL, Mazgaon Dockyard Limited, Mumbai, uh, a sh uh, sh vessel Mahindra Giri was launched, uh, which was uh, one of the uh, P-17 Alpha class of ships. Uh, HAL has been manufacturing uh, Tejas for us, uh, for the Air Force primarily as of now. Navy is also in talks to acquire few uh, for uh, training purpose as of now. Uh, these are the big, big feats. Uh, to, talk about, to talk about small feats, what we, we are actually looking for and it could be as simple as a roti making or a chapati making machine for our jawans who are born on board, who serve with us uh, just to feed them. A simple machine as a roti making machine or a chapati making machine or some more typical and simple life saving equipments uh, which could serve our purpose. 
these are the two platforms uh, through which we generally do the dealing. Uh, first is GEM, uh, which you all must have heard of as it is being widely used and recognized in all the government procurements. 90% uh, of our tenders, that is uh, material organization's tenders, are floated on GEM. And the other is DPP, that is for uh, defense uh, procurement portal. This is generally for the DPSUs or the PSUs. Uh, so to talk about the, uh, this I've already covered, I believe, how the functioning of MO. Now I'll come to the procurement process. Uh, for which I am here. Uh, the procurement process is as simple as any of the other procurement process which involves the government. Uh, that is uh, uh, RFP, uh, that is request for proposal. Uh, there will be a team, there will be a committee who will be preparing the RFP. That is the detail or the items what we actually need. The RFP would con contain the technical specification of the item, the quantity, uh, the delivery place, the delivery time, uh, the inspection criteria of what we expect from you to uh, make the item go through. Uh, after that, uh, when the RFP has been designed, the, our intent has been created that we want this particular item, that RFP will be floated on GEM. After that, uh, a particular amount of time will be given to you. For example, it is generally 21 days. It is a standard time, uh, standard time limit set. 21 days will be given to you uh, to quote for, to analyze that RFP, to analyze that tender and to quote for the tender. Uh, after you quote, after we receive the bid, first they will be, uh, first they will be opening of T bids. That is technical bids. I believe someone uh, over here was already talking about technical bid earlier, I believe, uh, yes. So technical bid, uh, suppose, uh, I'll just explain for an example. Suppose we have uh, five firms participating or five MSMEs participating. And uh, so technical bids will qualify that particular form uh, based on the technical aspect, that what particular item we want. If I want a motor, then I'll, uh, my technical bid will consist of the RPM, frequency, voltage, current, that, and those technical parameters, uh, the delivery time inspection criteria, and et cetera. If you agree to, to those terms and conditions, uh, then you will be technically qualified. Suppose uh, four out, out of five firms are technically qualified, then the T bids of those four firms will be accepted, and the fifth firm will be rejected. After opening of the T bid, there will be opening of commercial bid, which will be done by us as so as to decide the L1. Uh, the one who has least quoted, uh, so that will be decided by us. And once the L1 is finalized, uh, we will be awarding the tender to them after a PNC. PNC is the price negotiation committee, which is not only the price negotiation committee, but also we discuss general terms like for example, inspection criteria, if the firm has got any doubts as so as to how to carry out the inspection, how to contact the uh, inspection agencies, what could be the probable delivery times, all those things could be discussed over there. Uh, post awarding of, post PNC, there will be awarding of tender, the tender will be awarded to you, you will have certain time uh, delivery period available with you. Uh, after that, uh, there will be uh, order acknowledgement by you uh, once the firm has acknowledged the order, uh, they will, they will, they are liable to submit a PBG. Uh, that is kind of a security bond that shows your commitment that you are committed to supply that particular item to Navy. Uh, for MSMEs, it is generally 3% of the total order value. So that is what we seek from the MSMEs. For PSUs and for DPSU, it is generally 10%. The PBG should be valid, that security bond which you will be depositing, which shows your commitment to supply the item, that should be valid till 14 months from the date of supply of that particular item. Once we are in possession of the item, uh, once that item is already under utilization, uh, after 14 months from the date of supply, uh, we will uh, rewardfully return that PBG back to the firm.
Mm, after PBG, one more, uh, one important aspect which comes in picture and where uh, most of the firms, I believe, uh, uh, they generally, uh, because of which they generally hesitate to participate in the uh, tenders of the Army, Air Force or the Navy is the inspection. Uh, the items which we accept has to undergo a rigorous inspection. Uh, the inspection procedures, everything for that particular item is already designed um, and given. Uh, there are uh, various uh, CQAs, Chief Quality Assurance Establishments, who, and have uh, uh, inspectors who generally inspect the items, that the item which you promised and the item what you are supplying is correct or not, is matching or not. Uh, this uh, this uh, range of CQAs are headed by DGQA Navy, uh, that is based in Delhi, that is the uh, Director General uh, quality, quality Assurance. After this inspection is done, you will be uh, given an I-note, that is an inspection note. Uh, you will be given this I-note from the uh, CQAs, the agencies from where you will get your items inspected. Uh, post inspection, um, the only thing which is left is the supply of item, you will supply the item to us. Uh, then uh, along with the invoice, I notes which you have obtained from the uh, inspection agencies, uh, the bill documents you will submit it to us uh, for processing the billing and for the payment. I'll discuss about the challenges in the subsequent slides and that is very, very important. Uh, uh, these are the various uh, opportunities for the firms and the MSMEs. Uh, for example, a range of item, uh, previous speakers uh, have already elaborated on, the, what, on what kind of items uh, the Navy deals with. Uh, those were primarily the uh, weapon equipment items. Uh, the Naval stores deal with the, all, the, all kind of uh, non-weapon equipment. Uh, starting from uh, diesel, diesel engine and spares, valves, motors, heavy motor, light motors, their spares, drones, aero plants, ship stabilizers, uh, domestic galley equipment, rugged, ruggedized kitchen equipments, chain cables, anchors, electrical cables, fenders, gland packing material, uh, communication equipments, portable VHF, UHF communication equipments, uh, navigational radars, IT peripherals, uh, MS plates, pipes, tubes, uh, safety items, fire and fire and flood fighting uh, uh, control items, and uh, many more. Uh, Make in India, as you all aware, that uh, the government has been uh, uh, very much uh, forward looking and has been uh, encouraging the uh, Indian firms and MSMEs to come forward. There has been a uh, for MSMEs, uh, the rules and regulations are slightly lenient as compared to the big firms. Competition and transparency. GEM is something which is very much, uh, which is very much trans transparent, and that was the only reason uh, why the government have brought this particular platform. Uh, whatever is happening, if you are getting rejected for a particular bid, then you will have the reason that why have you been rejected. Uh, these are our expectations, uh, which is not much to fulfill. Uh, timely del delivery, requisite quality, uh, reliability and support after you supply the items. Uh, these are the challenges which the uh, which we uh, I know, which we face and also the uh, firms face. Uh, that is the overlooking of the salient aspects. Like for example, if you have uploaded a particular bid, then not responding to any one of the queries. Like for example, or the uh, fulfilling any one of the or technical details that if I'm if I'm seeking a motor of 50 hertz, and then the form skipping that particular part. So this could be overlooking of salient aspects. TOD extension. Uh, I generally said that the uh, tender opening date is generally 21 days, but it can be increased as well. Uh, if you need some more time to assess and some more time to quote for that particular tender, uh, that has to be done uh, based on a mail, uh, official mail which we receive from you. And based on that, we can uh, increase the uh, timing for the opening of the tender in, in a, 
in a, in a gap of seven days. Uh, lack of communication is self-explanatory. Uh, Post-order placement is the non-submission of PBG, the security bond which I just uh, told about. Approval of drawings. Now the item which you are supplying to the Navy, uh, that particular item, which if you are manufacturing that item, then you must be having the drawings and all of the technical documents of those particular items. Uh, th all those particular items you forwarded to us, to the MO. We, in, uh, we get those documents approved from, the, from our headquarters, that is from the command headquarters or the uh, HQ Delhi. Uh, we get those documents approved for you that X, uh, X is the form, he has he will be supplying certain material to us and this is the document uh, and drawing of that particular material. Once that uh, diagram and document is approved, that will form the basis for you to get your item inspected at, the, at any one of the uh, inspection agencies. So that is also very, very important. Uh, delivery period extension, if you have, uh, for, for example, committed to a delivery period of, a, of six months and in case you are not able to uh, uh, meet that uh, timeline, then uh, you can always approach us. Uh, we will, we generally do the delivery period extension. That again comes with LD, uh, which I don't want to talk about now. Maybe if you can come to our stall, I'll explain you the mathematics. After you have supplied the items, uh, we will, we will just get behind your bills to get it clear as, as early as possible. Uh, this year in the financial year 22-23, there has been uh, 928 items in total which has been banned by the government of India uh, uh, for uh, defense import. Uh, last year it was around 258, so the number is increasing and as the number is increasing, uh, we expect uh, our Indian partners and firms, firms to participate in our tenders. Uh, the annual turnover of MO Vizag, I'm talking only about MO Vizag, its annual turnover is around uh, 700 to 750 crores. So at the end, uh, I shall only say that uh, come and uh, participate in our tenders and let's uh, make uh, uh, self-reliance and uh, Atma Nirbharta a reality. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'd also request you to kindly submit your business cards in the Navy stall uh, so that we can um, go through and we can contact you when, as and when required uh, depending upon the area of your expertise of manufacturing. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, someone over here was asking me that how a firm will get uh, registered uh, with MO. So if once we have your details, we will, that is our job to register you on our system. Uh, with all your uh, contacts and all your areas of expertise. So just to answer, someone was asking me. Yes, please, sir. Yes, please. Yes, please. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Gopal. I teach computer science at Anna University. Uh, there was definitely a very good reason for relaxing the import of several electronic components. Correct, sir. And now that we are having a serious civilian innovative approach, is there a, is there a chance of reintroducing some curbs on electronic items, import of electronic items. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, happy Teacher's Day, sir. Uh, Thank you very much. <laughs> very nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, as you, uh, as we know that uh, recently Vedanta was uh, partnering with Foxconn uh, for manufacturing of, uh, uh, for uh, setting up a semiconductor plant in, uh, I believe in Gujarat but that uh, dealing has been uh, called off. So I believe uh, these are the certain factor, factors which could probably impact us uh, in the near future, but not at a, on, a, on, a, on a larger basis and in the times to come. So we will find a solution for it. And uh, that is all. Uh, so whatever is there is just for, a, uh, for some period of time wherein our Indian partners and firms uh, Tata is committed, uh, Vedanta is still committed to set up a semiconductor plants. I am talking about semiconductor because your question was about electronics and a semiconductor is the basically the basic building block of electronics. Uh, so that is all if I, may, if, if I may have answered your question. Thank you. 
Uh, any uh, further questions? Or? Thank you, sir. It was a good presentation. Wonderful. Thank you, ma'am. Self-explanatory, everything. I request uh, Commodore Balasundaram to do the honors. Thank you, Commodore. Thank you. Huh? One, more, one question, can you take it? Sorry, I had a question. So, uh, if there is any kind of proposal that we have that is not in the requirements, uh, but might be a solution to the currently used equipments, uh, how do we propose that? Uh, if we have a proposal for equipments that are not in the requirement, uh, in gem portal or any portals, and we want to propose those which are a better alternative to the current equipments then. Thank you. Yeah, uh, very well presented uh, uh, presentation by our Army counterpart as well as by uh, the three teams from uh, Navy. Uh, I request all of you to please give a good round of applause to the presenters. <laughs> the Air Force team of the coming ma'am. Okay. Anything more to be added for this session? Thank you. Thank you, uh, all of you, for uh, participating in this uh, uh, very uh, invigorating uh, presentations. And uh, all your questions, it, it is really shows how uh, you are keen and interested in partner with the uh, Navy and do the business and make our nation uh, self-reliant. And it is going to be, as the government says, by, by the turn of uh, century 2047, we shall be uh, fully uh, Atmanirbar and 100% self-reliant. Self Thank you.